Hi, I'm Andrew Rainey and welcome to another edition of Kickstart This, where I share some of the best video gaming crowdfunding projects that I've found in Kickstarter over the last couple of weeks. Now, before we begin this week's episode, I'm going to start with some really good news. A title we featured in episode one, What They Don't See, managed to blast past its initial funding target of $25,000. So a massive well done to Girls Make Game and Team Atlantis, and we hope to play the finished game in the near future as well. If, like me, you love helping indie developers crowdfund their projects, then please hit the subscribe button and share this video to give them a little bit more exposure on social media and also hopefully some donations as well. This week, I've got three absolute belters that are looking for your pledges. First up, we'll go on a dark 2D adventure in the futuristic Hong Kong with Name of the Will. After that, we'll get our Aztec groove on with Jaguar Warrior, Sons of the Lali Nantley, before embarking on a narrative management space opera in a long journey to an uncertain end. Let's jump in. Name of the Will is described as a daunting yet healing 2D adventure in a futuristic world that resembles Hong Kong. This is the first project from Brooklyn-based Zeitgeist Studio, although the company itself is made up of Hong Kongers from all around the world. It is their hope that gamers from all around the world can experience a bit of their Hong Kong spirit. Players will navigate the future cityscape, which will have a day and night cycle. You'll need to interact with your neighbours to complete certain missions and solve certain puzzles. The first thing that really grabbed me about Name of the Will was the unique art style. It reminded me of rotoshopped animation of A Scanner Dartley, fused with manga animation as well. It is both immersive and yet oddly disconcerting, but I'm here for it, I really like it. Now this game oozes originality. It's one of the reasons I love Kickstarter as a platform. It allows indie developers to explore and experiment. If you like dark, atmospheric games with Hong Kong twist, then Name of the Will is definitely for you. If you're looking to make a pledge in exchange for a copy of the finished game, then you'll be looking at a donation of roughly $18. With that, you'll also get digital wallpapers, plus your name in the credits, and a cool little extra as a backers-only newspaper. Um, there is a tier for collectors called the Collector Tier. For $88, you'll receive Name of the Will goodies designed for backers only. You'll get a digital art book and a copy of the soundtrack plus a physical tote bag, poster and exclusive demos and also early access. Now, if you have some money to burn, then check out the $700 tier. Not only do you get a hard copy of the art book, plus your message in the game, but you also get an original sketch signed by the team. Jaguar Warrior Sons of Lally Nantley looks like an Aztec version of one of my favourite Legend of Zelda games, A Link to the Past. It takes that game's top-down bird's eye view along with the core RPG mechanics and then applies them to a game steeped in Aztec and Mexican mythology. The result is a gorgeous, bright, fun-looking game where you will navigate through the Anahuac Valley, solving puzzles and ultimately facing many of the Aztec gods and boss fights. If you head over to the Jaguar Warrior Kickstarter page, you can download a demo to try as well. The art style for this game is so unusual. I keep referring to it in terms of Zelda games, and to me, it's like a link to the past, but with the bright, colorful, cel-shaded graphics of Wind Waker as well. Uh, the developer, Hunaku Game Studios, mixes together 3D models with flat 2D characters and animation, and it works really well, a little bit like Paper Mario. The game gives you the choice to play as Ocelotl, the titular Dragular Warrior, or Yao Yoto, a powerful sorceress. Each has a different fighting style along with a travelling companion, so you can either travel with a dog named Zolo or an eagle named Quantil. But let's face it, any game that has dogs in it gets a thumbs up in our house. Hunaku Game Studios are based in Mexico, and I think it's great that they've chosen a video game to bring their art and culture to life. I honestly cannot think of a game that celebrates or explores Aztec culture in the way that this one does, so I'm genuinely excited to help fund a developer from a country not hugely known for its video game development. So the developers have done something a little bit different with their rewards for this game compared to other games. If you just want a copy of the game itself, it's around 400 pesos or around £15. 
However, if you want to support the game for less than that, there are a number of tiers that offer, say, a coffee cup or a t-shirt for 200 pesos, or a cap or a printed art book for 300 pesos. Bear in mind this doesn't include the delivery cost as well, so you'll need to pay that on top of that. The top tier for this game is an absolute steal. So for 1,000 pesos, which is under 40 pounds, you get a digital copy of the game, a t-shirt, a coffee cup, a printed art book as well. Again, it doesn't include delivery cost, but I've been covering Kickstarter for almost a decade, and trust me when I say that this is a really good deal. Next up, we have A Long Journey to an Uncertain End. First of all, how awesome is that title? The game itself is described as an accessible narrative management game about a sentient spaceship fleeing from its former owner. Now, there is a lot of focus on the narrative aspect of the game and upon the eclectic cast of characters that inhabit the ship that you control. You'll travel to planets, moons and space stations, taking on any job that allows you to keep one step ahead of your former owner, who will stop at nothing to reclaim you. Now, if you're getting Firefly vibes from that description, well, go watch the trailer. The developers are definitely fans. Even better, there is also a demo that you can play. This is the first game from Crispy Creative, who describe themselves as a diverse indie studio with a mix of veteran developers and a host of fresh new talent. Between them, they've worked on Obsidian's The Outer Worlds, Telltale's Batman The Enemy Within, and Ember Lab's upcoming game, Kina Bridge of Spirits. Bottom line, there is a lot of talent involved here, and it certainly shines through in their Kickstarter pitch. Also, special mention to composer Jesse Myers. The snippet of soundtrack I've heard so far is just screams pure unadulterated sci-fi action adventure, and thankfully, the Space Wave tier offer the digital soundtrack along with the game. If you love sci-fi shows like Firefly and Farscape, games that have diverse representation and a deeply involving story, as well as a hologram dog, as your first mate, then you should definitely make a pledge for this game. Also, as it's a brand new studio's first title, it's nice to support them. From what I've seen of a long journey, I cannot wait to see what they do next. Now for those simply looking for a copy of the game, the $15 crew tier is the one for you. You'll get a game, special discord title, and your name in the game's credits. If you want a host of digital goodies, check out the $50 satellite tier. You get a digital copy of the game, art book, and that amazing soundtrack I just mentioned, wallpapers, plus beta access to the game as well. If you add an extra $25, you can upgrade to the Corgi tier, where you got all those previous rewards, plus a plushie of the holographic Corgi from the game, and a galactic postcard pack as well, plus an invite to the digital launch party. Now, for those of us who like to aim for the stars, the $500 star tier offers a lot of bang for your buck. Not only do you get all the previous rewards, but you also get to design an NPC while also receiving a physical copy of the art book and a miniature of the spaceship. Now bear in mind there are only 10 of these up for grabs and one has already gone, so you need to be quick. That's all the games for this episode. If you can help out these developers, then please click on the project link in the comments to give them a donation. If you cannot afford to donate, I'm sure they would appreciate it if you could share the link to their Kickstarter page across your social media feeds. If you love crowdfunding and video games as much as I do, and you want to hear about the latest exciting new campaigns across Kickstarter, remember to hit the subscribe and the alert buttons. I'm hoping to grow this channel and start using any funds that I receive to create a Kickstarter pot that will help give developers a little push over the finish line if and when they need it. And if you are someone who has just launched a campaign or is about to, let me know here on the comments section or on Twitter at Andrew Rainey and at kick underscore start underscore this. Until next time.